So on my Windows 2008 server, I've opened up the Group Policy Management Editor. And one of the settings that you need to enter on the 2008 Group Policy is to enable under Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Network Access Protection, enable the EAP Quarantine Enforcement Client. And you can create a new, a new Group Policy for this setting because you would not want to apply it on your domain and affect your default domain policy and affect all computers and you can further restrict the security to only specific computers that you would like to test network access protection on in my case I've entered I've created a group a test group called NAP, called NAP client computers and that just contains a list of computers that will apply this policy and all, the, all of these settings are outlined in the Microsoft document which I demonstrated earlier. So if I go to the client we can ensure that this particular policy is enforced by running the following command in the Microsoft document net sh nap client show state so I'm just going to run that and scroll up we want to ensure that EAP Quarantine Enforcement Client is set to initialize and set to yes and all other policies are set to no because we did not enable them in the group policy now this computer is on my network and I can ping my server my network policy server successfully I can also ping my DC successfully, this is my domain controller and if I do a show VLAN show VLAN you will see that port number 2 and port number 3 port number 3 and port number 2 are on VLAN number 3 meaning that that, that these computers that are connected to these ports are compliant and this computer that I'm on right now is in fact on port number two and my servers are all connected to port number three and they are compliant I have non-compliant computer which is on VLAN number two so let's see how I can make my computer non-compliant and have the port dynamically assigned to VLAN number two and before I do that I can run a command on my Cisco switch show dot one X all and this is going to show me the current status of my ports now the port is saying authenticated and it's also showing authenticated for port number 13 although the computer is non-compliant it has authenticated correctly on my network in, in which the password entered was correct let's go ahead and make this computer non-compliant the computer remember this computer is connected to port number 2 so if I go to control panel remember in my system health validator I had one requirement being that the network firewall has to be enabled so I'm going to select off disable it and it's going to try to re-authenticate and now I'm getting an error stating that this computer does not meet the requirements of this network if I try to ping my servers I get no reply because my computer is has been detected by my network policy server as non-compliant and the network policy server has sent a request to the switch switch in my case is the radius client to dynamically assign the port in which this computer is connected to to VLAN number 2 so I can't connect to my servers and if I take a look at the switch you will see that this particular port is now port number two is now on VLAN two and this port is is for computers that are not compliant so although I can connect to my server I can go ahead and ping other non-compliant computers that are on my domain so the other non-compliant computer I think is 11 yeah I can ping that guy but I can't ping any servers that are on the server VLAN VLAN number three if you like to debug, if you're having problems configuring a switch, you can run the debug 
dot one x error errors or events to see where to, or to troubleshoot any authentication issues that you are having. But as you can see, as once I change the setting on my firewall, it quickly reauthenticates the port. You can also manually reauthenticate the port by going to the switch and you can do dot one x reauthenticate and that will quickly quickly reauthenticate the port but you need to enter the interface name. Alright, so it authenticates there. Now let's go ahead. Now you don't need to do this, this is just for troubleshooting. If I go ahead and enable back my wireless setting here, it should authenticate and now you will see that this will change to yep, there we go. It changed to a compliance status. And now if I take a look at my port again it's been switched back to port number three, then dynamically assigned to port number three, and I can ping my servers. So I'm back on the network again. Now let's take a look server side at what took place. And you can see there's a log file that is created. If you would like to troubleshoot, there's a log file in the Windows System 32 log files. And this is going to show you the information for that particular uh, machine that that's logged on. So the name of that machine was test, oh sorry, XP. And it shows you a lot of other information you can use to troubleshoot whether or not uh, 82.1x authentication is taking place. And another thing that you can look at if you go to the network policy server you can actually actually the network policy and if you go to I believe it's settings under NAP enforcement you can enable auto remediation so if I enable this I will automatically re-enable the Windows firewall if the network, network access protection agent on the client detects that it is not not compliant so for the non-compliant policy. I'm going to go ahead and select settings and on the NAP enforcement I'm going to enable auto remediation for clients and this time I'm going to go back to the PC and I'm going to turn off the firewall again and let's see what happens. So if I go to control panel and turn this off and you can see that it quickly went back to on. This is what can happen if you enable the auto remediation feature.